How's it going everyone? It's System Secrets here. In today's video, we're going to be covering different ways to reduce your process count, which overall lowers your system usage and in turn will boost your FPS in any game. So if this helps, please drop a like and subscribe for more tips like this. First, open system configuration on your PC. In the boot section, click on advanced options, select a maximum number of processors available for your PC and click OK. Next, go to the services section. Check hide all Microsoft services and disable the non-essential services. This will increase your PC's performance and reduce input latency and network fluctuations. Up next is disabling unwanted startup apps. Right click on your taskbar and open up the task manager. Go to the startup section here, you'll see a list of applications that start with your PC. Every application that has the status set to enable is going to automatically open and boot every single time you log into your system. Not only will this slow down startup and login times, but it will also slow down your system as every single program that is open in the background is taken up CPU cycles and RAM usage. Disable the ones you don't need opening on boot. Next, we can navigate down to the bottom right hand side, click on our task icon tray, and start by closing out any and all programs you don't need open. Just take yourself to the bottom right hand side, right click on these applications you don't need running when playing your game and exit out of them. Next up, disabling unnecessary services. To do that, press Windows plus R, type services.msc and click enter, then scroll down to find the system main service. Right click it, go to properties and set the startup type to disabled. The next service you want to disable is connected user experiences and telemetry. It basically sends your usage and diagnostic data to Microsoft. If you don't want that, you can literally just right click on it, go into properties and change the startup type from automatic to disabled. Then don't forget to click on apply and then OK. Next up is Download Maps Manager. If you don't use maps on your PC, you can go ahead and disable this service. Windows Biometric Service is for laptops that have a fingerprint scanner, so if you're like me and don't have any of that and you're on a desktop, you can go ahead and disable it. This will get rid of that one right there. Then there is the Windows Insider Service, which gives you an early look into newer Windows versions and stuff like that. If you aren't registered or interested in that, you can go ahead and disable it. Another one is fax. If you don't use a fax machine, it is safe to disable this one as well. You can literally just have a look at all of these and if you find anything useless or something that you don't use, you can go ahead and disable it. However, please do your research on this. For example, you disable a lot of services and you accidentally disable Bluetooth and later on, you find out you can't use it because you disabled Bluetooth. If you disable the service, it will disable the functionality so it no longer works. So. Before you disable any service, make sure you know what it actually does, as you don't want to encounter any issues. And that is it for this video. Those would be a few services to disable and ways to lower your process count. And before you go, feel free to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and check out any of my other videos that are on screen right now.